Did you know that you can share a 360 degree panorama render to anyone who uses a smartphone? They don't need Enscape. They don't even need to be in front of their computer or in their office. All they need is their phone and internet. Now, imagine you're working on a project which is a hundred kilometers away from where you live, or you got a construction builder who doesn't quite project himself in the space based on your floor plan. Now you can create 360 degree panoramas from all the important locations in your model with Enscape. For each panorama, Enscape generates a QR code. I can then place these QR codes on those locations in my plan or sections. And the client or the team working on site can simply scan the QR codes on their smartphone and go inside the 3D panorama. It's pretty cool, right? Let me show you how. Right now, you've got your Enscape window open on the left-hand side. And what you're going to need to do is to click on this little icon, which will allow you to create 360 degree panoramas. Now let's click here and we're going to choose the mono panorama. And it's just going to take a little while to export. Once you have generated all the panorama that you need to host your CAD, you're going to this time go and click on the upload icon, which is available in the Enscape toolbar of your modeling software. So in my case, SketchUp. So it's this little symbol that looks like a cloud. A window will open showing me all the panoramas under the panorama tab. If you toggle over each image, you will see there's a little cloud symbol right here with an upload icon inside. This is actually the first thing that we need to do is to click on this and send this panorama to the cloud so it can be accessible with any web browser. And you're going to need to do that for all of your panoramas. So make sure to generate them one by one. So once you've downloaded your panorama onto the, the cloud, you're going to click on these three little dots right here. And you've got different options here is either you can copy the link that you can send to your client. You can copy the QR code or save the QR code as a file. You can also open in web browser. So this will give you the overview of the uh, panorama by itself. What I tend to do usually is that I save the QR code as a file, and I'm going to show you, and I include these QR codes in my floor plans. So whether they print out the floor plan or they have it on their computer, all they need to do is to scan this QR code, depending on the different spaces of your, of your house, and then they can just then walk around it with their phone. So when I click on the um, panorama, I click here on the three little dots and what I can do here with my phone, you can see right here, I'm going to go on the camera and right here, you can see my camera selects the, um, the QR code. And then you can see here, you can scroll and have a 360 degree overview or even scroll with your hand like this of the whole space. So honestly, it's pretty amazing. And in this image, you can see how I'm actually using the QR code to present to a client. So I have the elevation here of my need to do is to import the QR codes per room that you've generated. And then you, when you send this file to the client, they just scan each relevant QR code depending on the space they're in. And the render will appear automatically on their phone and you're gonna see it works incredibly well and it really creates that additional level of professionalism and a real wow factor. So have a play with that. And believe me, once you've started implementing that in your projects, uh, you're never gonna stop because seeing the client's reaction is absolutely priceless. If you like this content on my channel, please make sure to like and to subscribe and feel free to share all of your comments to know how you use QR codes in your presentations